Welcome to Accra, the capital and the largest city of Ghana. Located on the Gulf of Guinea near the Atlantic Ocean, it is not only the largest city in Ghana but also the most popular city in West Africa. Its coastal strategic location of the Gulf of Guinea has historically made it a hub for trade, connecting Ghana with the rest of the world, serving as a gateway of slave trade during the 19th century. Accra played a significant role in the struggle for independence from British colonial rule. On March 6, 1957, Ghana became the first country in sub-Saharan Africa to gain independence. The city witnessed fervent nationalist movements and political activism led by prominent leaders like Kwame Nkrumah, who became Ghana's first president. It has become a hub for commerce, finance and administration in West Africa. The city continues to attract investors, businesses and tourists, contributing to its growth and transformation. It has a population of over 2 million people, making it the largest city in the country. Accra is a melting pot of various ethnic groups from all over Ghana and other countries. The dominant ethnic groups include Ga Adangbe, Akan, Ewe and Ausa, and they have their own language. Ga, which is widely spoken in the city, and Akan languages such as Tui, Fante and Akwepam, are also widely spoken. English is the official language and is widely understood and used in Accra for official and business purposes. The diverse population of Accra brings with this rich cultural heritage and dynamic fusion of traditions and cuisine. The city celebrates various festivals throughout the year, such as Homowo, which is a harvest festival. And without further ado, these are the top 10 things to do in Accra. Jamestown Take a stroll through Jamestown and discover the historical neighborhood of Jamestown. Visit Usha Fort and James Fort or head to Brazil House. This pre-colonial building was once a home to Brazilian immigrants and now serves as a historical museum. If you happen to be in Jamestown during August, don't miss the annual Charlie Water Street Art Festival. You can also visit street food stalls in Jamestown and try some local dishes. Accra offers a wide range of accommodation options to suit various budgets and preferences. There are a lot of luxurious hotels that offer luxurious rooms, spas, multiple dining options, rooftop pools with stunning city views. And if you're traveling on a budget, there are budget-friendly options. These budget-friendly hotels offer clean and comfortable rooms and complimentary breakfast. There are also several guest houses, service apartments and Airbnb options available. Aburi Botanical Gardens Aburi Botanical Gardens is a popular attraction in Ghana, known for its beautiful plant collection. Take a romantic day trip to Aburi Botanical Gardens. The garden also has a small lake with water lilies, adding to its natural beauty. Walk hand in hand through the beautiful gardens and have a picnic in the picture square setting. Artist Alliance Gallery Whether you're a seasoned art enthusiast or simply curious about the vibrant art scene in Accra, then this one should be in your to-do list. Come visit and discover the work of local artists at this vibrant gallery. From painting to scriptures and jewelry, you'll find a wide range of unique and handmade crafts. Indulge in Ghananian cuisine. Accra offers a wide range of delicious Ghananian dishes. 
visit Asmera Restaurant situated in the East Ligo neighborhood. Asmera Restaurant is known for its elegant setting and delicious cuisine. They serve a variety of international dishes as well as Ghanaian favorites like fufu and groundnut soup. You can also visit Coco Lounge Restaurant, a stylish and contemporary restaurant located in the heart of Accra. Osu Castle Osu Castle, also known as Christenberg Castle, is a castle located in Osu, Ghana. The castle was originally constructed by the Danish in the 17th century as a trading post, but it was later captured by the British on the Gold Coast. After Ghana gained independence, Osu Castle continued to be used as the official residence of the president until the seat of the government moved to the Jubilee House in 2007. While visitors cannot enter the castle itself, its exterior and surroundings provide an opportunity to appreciate its historical significance and take in the beautiful coastal views. Osu is also known for its thriving nightlife scene with numerous bars, clubs and live music venues. Enjoy local music, dance and mingle with both locals and tourists alike. Labadi Beach Labadi Beach, popularly known as La Plesha Beach, is the busiest beach in Ghana's coast. It is maintained by the local hotels. On holidays and weekends, there are often performances of live music and dance. Enjoy leisure time under the sun, swim, sunbathe, or simply take in the vibrant coastal atmosphere. You can also enjoy fresh tropical fruits while enjoying the ocean breeze. Kakum National Park Kakum National Park, known for its beautiful rainforest and canopy walkway. Take a walk through the canopy walkway, which is suspended about 30 meters above the ground. Observe various bird species, monkeys and other animals that inhabited the area. You can also head to Accra Zoo, a great place to visit with kids. Kwame Nkuruma Memorial Park Kwame Nkuruma Memorial Park, commonly known as Kwame Nkuruma Mosalem. The mausoleum was built in 1992 to honor Kwame Nkuruma contribution to Ghana's independence and his efforts towards Pan-Africanism. The mausoleum houses the mortal remains of Dr. Kwame Nkuruma and his wife Fadia. And it's not only a place for remembrance but also a symbol of Ghana's struggle for independence and its commitment to Pan-Africanism unity. Come visit and learn about his life and accomplishment through various exhibits and displays. Independence Square Visit Independence Square, popularly known as Black Star Square. This historical landmark was constructed in the 1960s to commemorate Ghana's independence from British colonial rule. One of the most iconic features of this Independence Square is the Independence Arc, a 24-meter arc that symbolizes Ghana's freedom and sovereignty. Independence Square is not only an important historical site, but also a popular recreation area for locals and tourists. National Museum of Ghana The National Museum of Ghana is the largest and oldest museum in the country, established in 1957. The museum houses a diverse collection of artifacts and exhibits that span various periods. Come visit and explore a wide range of exhibits, including archaeological findings, traditional Ghanaian crafts, textiles, musical instruments and historical documents.
The museum also displays Ashanti treasures, which includes regalia, ceremonial items, and golden artifacts from the Ashanti kingdom. Makola Market. Immerse yourself in the vibrant atmosphere of one of West Africa's largest open air markets. This is quite an amazing place with lots of very narrow alleys and women walking with huge balls and packages on their heads. Despite the crowds and the chaos, shopping at Makola Market can be exciting and authentic experience. It offers a wide range of products and goods, including clothing, accessory, fresh produce, local crafts and more. This market is a great place to find unique handmade items made by local artisans. Support the local artisan by buying these items to take home. Begin and negotiate for prices at this market for a great shopping experience. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment and turn on the notification so we can always bring you great content on YouTube.